How's it going ladies and Bruce's I'm Bobby Six Killer and welcome back to Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. It's time for us to head to Shinryu Academy that we've been enrolled in and find out where they're keeping the secret knowledge. But first we need to talk to this fish. Would you like to visit the land of my ancestors? Yes. Because I gotta know. I just gotta know. Oh my god. I'm glad I saved that fish. I love the music. It reminds me of annoying dog music. What? Oh come on Helga. We can do one more level. We'll get plenty of rest after. Oh shit, there's enemies here? It's a super rad ghost. That's scary, man. Normal rad ghosts are scary. Super rad ghosts must be extra scary. Bye, super rad ghost. Are you serious? You just insta killed him? Whoa. Okay, they're really strong. Uh. Waste him. Oh, are you serious? They're just gonna murder my whole team just like that? Run! That was not cool. Not cool, bro. I don't even have anything to bring them back to life with. Butthole. Alright, let's go heal. We're gonna go back there another time. But right now, they murdered the crap out of us. Alright, let's go head to Shinryu Academy. We'll come back there later. When I think I could handle that. That was nuts. This is a big town, man. It's the first day of school. A cool breeze rustles Jimmy's freshly combed hair. The laughter of children mixed with the birdsong overhead. The cherry blossoms bloom like fireworks. Watch where you're going, dweeb! Hey Jimbo! Just got my schedule. Your dad registered me in remedial math. Guess he doesn't have much faith in me. I wish I could hang out in your class, but I'd stick out like a sore thumb. So I got put in high school. You know, Jimmy, I'm not too excited about going back to high school. This might be a shock to you, but I used to get bullied a lot. One time they made me eat my own underwear. Um, don't worry though. I'll protect you for sure. I'm gonna try and fade into the background while I'm here. Maybe no one will call me names. That hurt more than the daily beatings. The underwear thing was probably worse though. Anyway, if anyone picks on me, on you, just let me know. I'll be right. Whoa. Excuse me. Jimmy, am I hallucinating or just... Did, 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 did the most beautiful woman on the planet just walk by? Check it out, nerds! Please don't hurt me, sir. Call it, Uncle Kid. I'm not gonna beat you up. It's me, the misunderstood thug, Punch Tanaka. I got a temporary gig here as a janitor. Pretty sweet, huh? I don't know what it is, but something about the profession is magnetic. It just seemed like a good fit. Anyway, you can count on me, kid. I'm gonna find out where the principal's keeping the book, and then I'm gonna snatch it. And if you're ever in danger, don't worry. Like the deadly chameleon, Punch Snarker will be right there, blending in, waiting to strike. Well, I better get going. There's a floor that needs mopping, and I got, tool got the tools for the job. Mainly a mop. Looks like the classes are about to start. I'll see you at lunch. Class is about to begin. Would you like to change into a different monster? Uh, no. The teacher is starting the math lesson. Today, the class is going over multiplication. Jimmy already knows all the times tables, so he's bored. Jimmy pops the collar on his leather jacket and starts to take his nose. The chair leans back a bit, then tumps over. All the kids have a nice chuckle. So he makes a middle note to beat them up later. <laughs> Let's see, that's five rows, each with six children, minus the two kids with glasses and the shy girl in the corner. Hey, Jimmy thinks he might have learned a little something after all. After math, Jimmy's class is next up for computer lab. He follows the rest of the students down the hallway. 
Should be supposed to be typing, but none of the other students are doing it. So he's messing around on the internet instead. There's a popular video chat program that the other students are using, so he installs it, then picks out an avatar for himself. It's a superhero. Jimmy doesn't really know anyone though, so his friends list is pretty much empty. Oh look, here's someone. Jimmy has no clue who it is, but it's someone to talk to, so he adds them to the friend list. They reply instantly. Their avatar is a giraffe wearing sunglasses. Yo kid, it's me, Punch the Knocker. I figured I had to keep in touch with you somehow, but a janitor can't just talk to kids, you know? There's like a code or something. Anyway, I used to think computers were just for nerds, but they're actually pretty cool. You do lots of awesome stuff on them. Punch's avatar flexes magnificently. I read a tutorial on how to draw dogs, and I watched videos of people doing karate for like two hours. Can you believe it's all for free? Man, computers are great. I'll send you some links later. It's called copying and pasting. Punch's avatar pulls shades down and cocks an eyebrow. I mainly just wanted to touch base with you. Let me tell you, infiltrating this place was a breeze. Nobody gives genders a second look. It's a shame, really. Genders don't get much credit, but they're an integral part of the school ecosystem. It's a life of quiet dignity. Oh man, my boss is yelling at me. Some birds build a nest in the gym and I've got to whack him down with my broom. I better jet. Punch's avatar makes a finger gun and points at you and then goes click click. Then he plays around on the computer and, until computer class is over. Hey, it's time for lunch. Then he walks in single file with the rest of the students to the cafeteria. This is really different to the rest of the game so far. Really different. It's like a visual novel or something. Hey Jimmy. Gonna finish that sloppy joke? It's my favourite. I forgot how much I love cafeteria food. I don't get it much because mum always packed my, packed my lunch. She used to write little notes on a napkin for me. I kind of miss that. This napkin's just covered with barbecue sauce. Whoa! Look over there! Uh... Just sitting in my spot? I'm sorry? In case you hadn't figured it out yet, new girl, this is our table, and that's my seat. Oh, I didn't know. These customs are strange to me. Where should I sit? Well, since your hair looks like a big wad of chewed up bubblegum, what do you eat in the dumpster? But, wouldn't that be unsanitary? Ha ha ha, you idiot! The new girl is a sure as a space case. What? I am not. That's, that's just not true. It's that girl from earlier. Jimmy, we can't let her get bullied like that. We should, I should do something. Well, 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 if it isn't the dork squad. In case I wasn't clear, I'm referring to you two dorks. You're the dork squad. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up. Please don't hurt me. I've already eaten my sloppy joe. But you can have my mixed vegetables and the rest of my milk. How about you shove those mixed vegetables up your nose, tubby? If that'll make you happy. Ew, stop! I just wanted to stop by and let you two know that Shinryu Academy is a kingdom. And I'm the king. You two? You're peasants. You do what the king says, understand? Yes, my liege. God, what a dog. Oh well. As long as you know your place, I'm out of here. Looks like that girl from earlier is gone. I wish I was brave enough to do something. Now I'm just a broken man with some peas and carrots up his nose. <laughs> Lunch is about over. Later, Jimbo. Class is about to begin, would you like to change it to a different monster? Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, 50 style vampire. Jimmy feels kind of anemic. The teacher is starting social studies lesson. Today the class is going over staple capitals. Jimmy imagines what life would be like in Honolulu. It would be terrible. He'd be pressured to go to the beach all the time. He'd never be able to get rid of his sunburn. Everyone around him would be happy and that would make him even more miserable. He'd try to bite into a coconut and suck out the sweet milk, but he'd probably just break his teeth. He doesn't even want to think of the dentist's bill. Hey, Jimmy thinks he might have learned a little something. It's almost time for recess, but before Jimmy can leave, the intercom kicks in. The teacher says, it's a special announcement from the principal. Throb, throb. Gross. Thanks, principal. Jimmy hears a voice inside his mind. I see you, Jimmy. Your little body. Sitting in your little desk. Your little brain. I'm gonna wrap my fingers around it and squeeze it until it's mush. What do you think you're doing here? You think you can stop me? You'll never be able to. 
even with the book. I'm as old as time itself. And you? You're eight. You don't have a chance. Spend your last days with your family. When I come, you'll know. Your final moments will be a shivering, sweat-soaked nightmare. Oh, and the school field trip to Shinryu Fish Concern is coming up next month. So you need your parents to sign the permission slip by the end of the week. And re it's recess. So everyone hurries outside. Jimmy takes a moment to calm his breathing before following them. What's the matter? Don't want to play on the jungle, Jim? Me neither. I'm more of an indoors recess kind of guy. How's your day been so far? Yeah, same here. I don't really like being back at school. Yeah, the kids have been calling me Beard Boy. I think they have some kind of disorder. I know that I, I know that I'm just older than them, but it's still hurtful. Also, in gym, I had to run laps, and the coach yelled at me when I couldn't finish. Classes have been tough too, even remedial math. I guess your dad was right about that one. It's been so long since I've done any math outside of calculating damage numbers in RPGs. I guess that's pretty easy stuff. If I were in an RPG, I'd make my defense higher so I could take all the beatings. That's what you do do. Man, Jimbo, I never thought I'd have to live through this again. Hey, Jimbo. I think I have another chance to talk with that girl. She seems so cute and nice. I wonder what it would be like to be with a girl like that. If I could just talk to her without her looking at me like I'm disgusting, fat, hairy monster, then I'd be happy. Looks like recess is about over. Maybe tomorrow we'll play on the swings or something. Class is about to begin. Would you like to change to a different monster? Sure, why not? Let's go to the Grumble Bear. Jimmy feels kind of disgruntled. The teacher is starting the English lesson. Today the class is having free reading time. Since Jimmy is near and hasn't been to the library yet, the teacher gives him something to read. It's a book that she read and liked when she was a kid. She said it was about a young girl who solves mysteries. Part of a series. This one is about a haunted house. Jimmy holds the book in his hands. It's a hardcover copy. On the front, a young girl is illuminated by a dark hallway with a flashlight. The corners of the book are starting to fray and several of the pages are dog-eared. When Jimmy opens it, he's hit with the musty smell of ancient knowledge. He tries to read it, but the letters shift around the page. They're all mixed up. He wants to try to read, but instead he just counts words, his cheeks warm with embarrassment. Jimmy looks up at the clock. It's almost time for school to be over for the day. The teacher gets up and makes an announcement. On Friday, there'll be a spelling bee. She talks excitedly about how there'll be trophies for people in each grade, and there'll be cookies and juice after. She also mentions that it'll be graded. Jimmy squirms in his seat. The bell rings, and the students grab their bags and head outside. Jimmy, Lars, and Punch meet up and head back to Shinryu. No luck finding that secret knowledge? It's just your first day. That's to be expected. Take some time to adjust to your new schedule. I trust you'll be able to find it, Jimmy. As for me, I'm afraid I haven't had much luck either. I've been scouring the city for information, but no one has heard of Helga or Buck. In retrospect, this shouldn't be surprising. It's a large metropolitan area, and it's not like Helga and Buck would be telling everyone their names. I'm going to meet with a sketch artist. With good pictures of Helga and Buck, I should be able to find more leads. I hope you're adjusting well to your new school. I know these kinds of things can be hectic, but you're a smart boy, Jimmy. You can work hard and be successful. Get some rest tonight so you can perform well academically in the morning. <laughs> Indeed, because that's important. Jimmy sleeps. It's now Tuesday, the second day of school. The spelling bee is in three days. Okay. Well, I didn't learn anything about spelling today because I was a bear. And bears can't read. Except for super smart bears. Hey, kid! We really need to get that stupid book. I thought I enjoyed being a janitor, but it's kind of a drag. My boss really put me through the rigor yesterday. I mean, I have to admit, this is the first actual job I've ever had. So I don't really have anything to compare it to. But I gotta wake up super early and follow orders. Let me tell you something about Punch Tanaka. He's not a follow orders kind of guy. He's more of a run free like the wind kind of guy. I'm a tornado kid, and I'm about to blow down the building. Oh man, my boss is looking over here. I'm not supposed to talk to kids, kid. I'm gonna find that book and get the hell out of this dead end nightmare. What a drag. Oh, I overslept. My body didn't want to come back to school. We better head to class. I don't want to get detention. 
Class is about to begin. Would you like to change? It? Yes. We had math first, right? What would be good at math? I don't even know. Let's try a revolting blob, I guess. Jimmy feels kind of wobbly. Oh, it's science! Oh, this is perfect for science. And the teachers, teachers start the science lesson. Today the class is learning about plants. I should have been the flower. The teacher is talking about how chlorophyll makes plants green. Jimmy wonders if he's filled with chlorophyll too. Hey, maybe Jimmy's actually a plant. Well, that wouldn't make any sense. Instead of absorbing water, it just bounces off Jimmy. And sunlight makes him fart. One day, maybe scientists will be able to classify Jimmy. Jimmy thinks he might have learned something this. Nice. Nice. Jimmy's waiting for Punch to get on. He's taking so long that Jimmy decides to actually practice typing. Well, he mainly pushes keys absentmindedly with his index finger. All of a sudden, Punch's avatar appears on the screen. Hey kid! Today's been a real beast. Punch's avatar's long giraffe neck wilts to the side. My boss is really hounding me about all sorts of stupid crap. I thought I was going to find that book today, but he's not even giving me a chance. What if the principal found out I was undercover and making this guy keep me busy? It's like a game of cat and mouse, except this mouse is actually a Bengal tiger. Wait a minute. What if he hasn't figured out who I am? What if this is just what it means to be a janitor? Wow. What an undervalued profession. Anyway, I'm super busy right now, so I can't talk anymore. Here's an illegal mp3 I downloaded as an apology. Toy Soldier Parade. At lunch, Lars is nowhere to be found. There are lots of people around, but Jimmy feels alone. He picks at his meatloaf with his fork. Hey, you're that weird kid, aren't you? But yeah, it's definitely you. It's easy to miss you because you're so small. I bet I could beat you up if I wanted to. Be glad I don't care enough to try. What are you doing hanging out with Beard Boy and that creepy janitor all the time? It's like you brought a freak show to Shinryu Academy. My daddy works at the best company, and he's gonna get me a high paying job right out of school. I don't even have to go to college if I don't want to. I bet you'll have to spend four years in college just to work at a second rate company. God! The way you just sit there and stare at me. You're even worse than the new girl. Talking to you makes me want to puke. Later, loser. Jimmy is ignored for the rest of lunch. His meatloaf has grown cold. The gravy is congealed. He sits, stares at absent mindedly until the bell rings. Class is about to begin. Would I like to change? Yes. Jack o' Lantern. Jimmy feels kind of biodegradable. Interesting. The teacher is starting the art lesson. Today everyone gets to draw whatever they want. Jimmy tries to pick up a pencil but it phases through his hand. <laughs> he hates when that happens. He concentrates really hard and starts to draw. But the best he can do is some stick figures. Frustrated, he sings. He singes the paper and watches the flames turn the picture to ash. Hey, Jimmy thinks he might have learned a little something. Nice. Does this do normal level ups for them? Because I should just level up like... The bear. Hey Jimbo, sorry I missed lunch. Some guys were forcing me to lick the bathroom floor. On the plus side, I kind of killed my appetite. There's no point in sugarcoating this, Jimmy. I really hate it here. This is probably the worst place on the planet. Hey Beard Boy, thanks for cleaning the bathroom. It reeked, but now it's nice and shiny thanks to you. But see, we got a problem. A big problem. See, I was talking to my girl about what a good job you did. She got jealous. Super jealous. Seems like the girl's bathroom is even filthier than the boy's. So you're gonna have to clean that one too, beard boy. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you get your creepy janitor friend to help you? Well... Jimmy can't stand seeing his uncle like this, so he pushes the no good neck. Big mistake, dweeb. Yeah, big mistake. You guys are toast, you know that? Toast. I'm gonna knock the crap out of both of you. You guys are finished, you know that? Bring it on. I can't wait to beat the crap out of both of you.
Man, Counter's not doing that much to them. He used to do a lot more. Nice, back to full health, or well, nearly. Alright, let's finish these assholes off. Dead. Your turn now, asshole. You little brat. Do you think this is all we're capable of? We'll show you. Crap! It's the principal. This isn't over. Throb, throb. Jimmy hears a voice inside his mind. What do we have here? Fighting on school premises. Such bad behavior. Jimmy, I really thought this kind of thing was beneath you. I'm afraid you'll have to be punished. When did you come with me to my office? Mr. Principal. You have to help me, Mr. Principal. I've got a really bad stomachache. Where's the nurse's office? Throb, throb. I know, I know, but it's an emergency. My tummy hurts so bad. Throb, throb. Thank you so much, sir. Throb, throb. Jimmy hears the voice inside his mind. Wait here, Jimmy. When I return, we can discuss your punishment. Psst. You should be more careful. There are bad people here. You should probably duck out. My name is Hitomi, by the way. See you later. Hitomi. Well, you want an Asian girlfriend. You're back early today. Did something happen? I better not get a call from your teacher. Also, don't forget your primary goal. You've got to find a secret knowledge. As for me, I was finally able to find a lead. Thanks to the sketch artist, I ran into several people who positively, positively identified Helga. She seems to be quite popular, actually. They call her a happy smile lady. When I asked them where I could find her, though, they weren't very confiliar with me. They mainly seemed confused. One of them suggested that I stop by Tetsuya Kawaii. It seems like a large chain of toys and other useless... Tick, tick... What the fuck is that word? It's not much, but it's a lead. I'll investigate tomorrow. Don't forget, you must find the secret knowledge. Try your best tomorrow. Another day passes. It's now Wednesday, the third day of school. The spelling bee is in two days. We need to heal after that fight. Alright, I'll be the bear for, the, for today. We're gonna be the bear for today. I think we can get one more day off before, uh, before we're out of time for the episode. Unless something major happens, which it, it might actually. Day three and all. Another day at school. Jimmy looks around the courtyard for Punch and Lars, but he can't see them. As students mill around him, Jimmy gets a distinct impression that he's totally, utterly alone. Throb, throb. Jimmy hears a voice inside his mind. Back already? You may have evaded punishment for one day, but don't be arrogant. This is my school. It's only a matter of time before you slip up again, and when that happens, Jimmy, you'll never leave here alive. Tick tock, Jimmy. Classes are about to start. Class is about to begin. Maths again. Fractions. Jimmy already knows how fractions work, so he's bored. Man, the teacher won't shut up about fractions. All this talk is making him want to pop open his skull and divide his brain in two. Whoa! Instead, he just lets himself drift into a nice little nap. The teacher's words become a smooth, hypnotic drone. The numbers swirl and slur together in Jimmy's head. He dreams of living numbers working together to find common denominator. It's the most boring dream he's ever had. <laughs> hey, Jimmy thinks he might have learned a little something. That's <laughs> so funny. Punch's avatar struts in place. It ga its gangly giraffe legs stretch forward and back, forward and back. Yo, kid! I just made a breakthrough! So my boss made me clean the bathroom today. Apparently some kid spit all over the floor or something. It was swimming in saliva. I mean, how deranged do you have to be to do that kind of thing? Don't you know that someone's gotta clean up your messes? Anyway, it's not the point. The point is, when I was cleaning, the principal came in. I was working in the store next to him. So you never got a lock on me. Let me tell you, the guy took forever. Forever! And it reeked pretty bad too. It's like the guy had a bunch of raw meat last night. When I complained to my boss about the smell, he was like, Oh yeah, it's always like that. Every day too, at about that time. So I asked him why he made me clean the bathroom at the exact time. If it was the same thing every day, and he just laughed. I'm beginning to think my boss is a grade A jerk. That's not important. The important thing is that I know exactly when he goes to the bathroom every day. 
I'm gonna swipe his keys next time. Why? Heh. <laughs> the boss says we're not allowed in the principal's office. You know that's gotta be where they hide in the book. Alright, I'm a man on a mission. You just keep your head in the game. Let's get those keys, we'll be home free. Man, Hutch Tanaka, MVP. Hunter's avatar does a little spin and Moon walks off the screen. Sorry I didn't meet you in the courtyard before school. I uh, went through the back so the bullies wouldn't hassle me. It was an old trick I learned back in my first trip through high school. Hi Jimmy. Mind if I sit here? The other girls aren't very hospitable. Uh, hi, uh, hi, hi Hitomi. Y yes? Do I know you? Oh I'm, um, name's Lars. I'm Jimmy's best friend. Pleased to meet you. Jimmy's a sweet boy so I'm sure you're sweet too. My mum used to say I was sweet as apple pie. Then I would say, I don't know about that. And she would say, well we better find out for sure. And then she would make me an apple pie. Hey, <laughs> you're funny. I am? I mean, yeah, whatever. I guess it just comes naturally. Well, it looks like lunch is almost over. It was nice meeting you, Lars. Jimmy, I don't remember anything I just said. <laughs> Class is about to begin. The teacher is studying social studies. Today, they're learning about presidents of the United States of America. Jimmy's considering smashing up his desk and going on an old fashioned rampage. Then the teacher starts talking about Theodore Roosevelt. Apparently, the teddy bear was named after him. Jimmy imagines the soft, huggable guys and feels his heart begin to melt. Ugh, no, must harness endless rage. Jimmy flips his desk over and runs through the, through the wall, leaving a Jimmy shaped hole behind him. He knocks down some drawing, drawings push pin to a cork board and rips a water fountain from the wall. Whew, that's better. Hey, Jimmy thinks he might have learned a little something. Yeah, how to destroy a wall. Hey, Jimbo. You know I'm starting to think things are looking up. Hutch told me that he has a plan to get in the principal's office. For the record, though, I don't know how he interrupts my internet time. He complains a lot about all the work he has got to do. But I think he spends most of his time goofing off online. Anyway. It looks like we're not going to have to stay here much longer. Plus, your dad says he's close to finding Helga. Nobody's bullied me today, and I actually had a conversation with Hitomi. Jimmy, do you think I have a shot with her? Hey, um, Lars? I'm sorry for all those mean things I said. I got in a lot of trouble, you know. Oh, it's, uh, it's fine. Thanks so much for understanding. Anyway, Miss Fushitora wanted me to tell you that you won an award. Really? For what? Oh, you know, most improved, um, for most improved. I don't know the specifics. I'm supposed to take you back to your class with me. This is a trap, idiot. Well, okay, it's about time someone acknowledged how much I've improved, I think. I'll catch you later, Jimbo. What an idiot. Looks like it's just you and me this time, loser. You humiliated me pretty bad yesterday. And that ain't gonna happen again. Jimmy, you've gotta run. He's not what he seems to be. Jimmy ran back inside, his breath echoed in the empty hallways. Before Hitomi came, he saw something flash across the face of the bully. It was something... inhuman. He waits alone outside the classroom until his teacher returns with the rest of the students. Class is about to begin. Teacher's starting the English lesson. Today she's going over grammar. She's explaining prepositions to the class. She writes out three sentences on the blackboard. Who would like to point out the preposition in this sentence, she, she asked. A girl in the front row raises her hand and underlines one of the words. The next sentence, she chooses a young boy sitting next to Jimmy, and he does the same. Who would like to find the preposition in the last sentence, she asks, when no one raises their hand. Her eyes scan across the class. When she stops, she's looking at Jimmy. His heart sinks. I'm a bear, come on. Jimmy drags himself to the blackboard. The other sentences have short words underlined. One is only two letters, one is four. The shortest word he can find is right at the beginning of the sentence, so he underlines that. I'm sorry, his teacher says, and Jimmy slumps back into his seat. Gender line's another word. This one is four letters long, and one of the letters in the middle looks like a plus sign. Jimmy tries to remember that for the future. When the bell rings, Jimmy walks out of school with his head hanging low. Jimmy! I trust that school is going well? I've run into a strange situation myself. I checked out Tetsuya Kawaii, and well, I suppose you could say I found Happy Smile Lady, apparently a popular Tetsuya Kawaii character. It was several different toys based on her. The odd thing is that she looks just like Helga. The resemblance is uncanny. I bought several, of course. They're just adorable. But why is Helga a chain of toys? It's something I'll have to investigate. J 
Do your best tomorrow. Hopefully you'll be able to find the secret knowledge. Another day passes. It's now Thursday. The fourth day of school. The spelling bee is in one day. We're gonna fail. And we're out of time for this episode, so we're gonna do the next day in the next episode. That was an interesting set of things. I wonder what that bully is. Obviously he's part of the Pulse City Mass, right? And that's what everything is revolving around. Alright, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking it out with me and I'll see you in the next one.